Hey guys, today I'm going to show you the most commonly used math symbols that will come across in primary school and also in high school. Now in high school, you're going to see that some of the symbols you have never seen before. So let's go through some of them. The first symbol that you've also already have come across was the equal sign. Now the equal sign is basically the symbol that shows us that the problem equals the solution that we're going to get. Very simple. Let's look at a basic question. 3 plus 4 equals 7. Meaning that 3 added to 4 is going to result, it's going to equal to 7. So this symbol, we always have come across it and we're always going to be using it throughout high school. Let's move on to something that is similar but not exactly the same. If we look at this symbol here, which looks like an equal sign, but at the same time it has a, a dot on top and dot on the middle, or we have a squiggly line that is also meaning the same symbol that we're looking at now. Now this symbol is the approximately equal to symbol, which means that something is approximately equal to the other, but it's not exactly the same. It's not exactly equal. So let's look at this example. We have 9.96 is approximately equal to 10. So 9.96 is close enough, so we will say is approximately equal to 10. That way you can see it's not exactly the same, but it is close enough, so we say it's approximately equal to. And you're going to see several questions later on that the answer is going to be long or you're going to round it off. So you say the answer is approximately equal to and you write down the answer you have. Okay, then we have what we call the not equal to, which is an equal sign with a slash going through it. What does it mean? As the name suggests, all it's saying that a number is not equal to another number. In this case here, 4 is not equal to 5, or 10 is not equal to 11, or 15 is not equal to 20. So here we're saying that this answer does not equal that answer. The next symbol, which is the less than symbol, the less than symbol, it actually looks like an L. I like to remember it that way. So, the less than symbol states that one number is less than another number. So in this case here, we have 12 is less than 15. Very, very straightforward. Then, we have the opposite to that, which is the greater than. Greater than meaning that one number is greater than the other number. So here, we're saying 10 is greater than 7. 10 is larger than 7, so we say 10 is greater than 7. The next symbol is the less than or equal to symbol, which states that a number can be uh, equal to another number, but also can be less than it as well. So, for example, we have a number that we don't know, we're calling it x. x is less than or equal to 5. What's that mean? That means x can be 5, but it also can be any number below 5. It can be 4, it can be 3, it can be 2.5, it can be 1, it can be 0, it can be negative. So it's important for us to understand that less than or equal to, meaning that x can be 5 or less. Greater than or equal to. Greater than or equal to is similar. On the other hand, it is the opposite. So here, greater than or equal to, so an example would be x is greater than or equal to 10. So what's that mean? That means a number x can be 10 or it can be bigger than 10. It can be 11, it can be 15, it can be 20. So here we're saying that x is greater than or equal to 10. So it can be 10 or more. The next symbol, it's the percent symbol. Now the percent sign you have seen before and you're going to see it on a continuous basis throughout high school and throughout your life. Now, the percent symbol looks like a one and two zeros. Why? Because it means the number is over a hundred. Meaning, if we look at this example, 20%. What does it mean? It means 20 over a hundred. 20 out of a hundred. So 20 out of a hundred also can be written in decimal as 0 0.2. So 20% means 20 out of 100 also can be written as 0 0.2. Sometimes you may have 50%, 50 out of 100, 
or 70%, 70 out of 100. So now you understand that the percent sign represents out of 100. We have another symbol, which is a common one as well, you're going to see, and that is the square root symbol. The square root symbol looks at a number that multiplies itself to get the number under the square root symbol sign. Let's look at it using an example. Square root 16. What number multiplies itself to get 16? So when we look at a question like this and we think, okay, the square root of 16, we ask ourselves straight away, what number multiplies itself to get 16? The answer is 4. 4 times 4 equals 16. Another example, the square root of 100. What number multiplies itself to get 100? 10. 10 times 10 is 100. So here we can see that the square root, meaning we're looking for a number to, that multiplies itself to get the number under the square root. The cube root is similar. When we're looking at the cube root of a number, in this case here, the cube root of 27. We ask ourselves, what number multiplies itself three times to get 27? So, what number multiplies itself to get uh, three times to get 27? It is actually three. Three times three is nine. Nine times three is 27. So this way, you understand that a number times itself three times, three times three times three is 27. So the cube root of 27 must be three. Another example, if we want to know the cube root of a thousand. Now the cube root of a thousand, we ask ourselves what number multiplies itself three times to get a thousand? The answer is 10. 10 times 10 is 100. 100 times 10 is a thousand. So that's the cube root of a thousand which equals to 10. The last symbol we're going to look, look at today is the pi symbol. Now the pi symbol, it in words, it's actually written as PI. It's actually used when we're working with circles, whether we are working out the circumference of a circle, the area of a circle, spheres, cylinders. We're going to be using this symbol called pi, and it is approximately equal to 3.141. 3.141, so it is a number that is continuous. So we write it as approximately 3.141. When you place it in your calculator, press pi and you press equal, you're always going to get 3.141 and the number continues. In fraction, approximately 22 over 7. So these are some common math symbols that we use. We need to know them, we need to get familiar with them. That way when we're looking at a problem and we see these symbols, we can understand what we need to do without, any ma without making any mistakes.